church, amen, praise God. Huh? I believe we'll just get in this thing and have a meeting this morning. I don't know about you, but I feel a battle like I've never faced, amen, this week, and praise God, amen, just to feel the presence of God this morning, amen. Praise God, amen, the Lord have mercy. Can't hardly stand it, praise God. Sing it like you mean it. Amen. Everybody sing. If you've never sung one verse in the house of God before, won't you right back and let it go this morning? Amen. Amen. The Bible said He inhabits our praise. Amen. I come to praise Him this morning. I didn't come to serve God. I come to worship. I truly believe in God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you'll turn loose, I promise you'll feel better this Amen. morning. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're fixing to have me. Glory. Glory to God. Lord have mercy. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Where the way seems dark and dark, as I pass a bit of road, hold to my hand, hold to my hand, dear Lord, I pray, dear Lord, I pray, give me grace to shout and shine.
chilling on, and my strength is almost shown. Hold to my hand, hold to my hand, dear Lord, I pray, dear Lord, I pray, surely Thou wilt never forsake me. Come to
He prayed to God. He prayed to God every morning, noon and night. He cared not for the things of hell, but trusted one who never fails. Oh, man, you'll pray. No way. Oh, they cast him in the steel because he would not honor him. No, he prayed to God. He prayed to God in the morning, noon and night. God the Lord that made him shout, and God soon brought him safely. Oh, man, you'll pray. Oh, man, you'll pray. Oh, man, you'll He prays to God every morning, noon and night. He cared not for the things of hell, but trusted one who never fails. Daniel prayed. Oh, Daniel prayed every morning, noon and night. Oh, brother, let us watch and pray like Daniel did from day to day. Pray to God. He prays to God every morning. He knows my name. I'm the Spirit of God this morning, y'all. No, it Every tear that 
Boa noite, irmão. Fica Anybody else got some? Good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. Yeah, I was thinking there as we were singing this morning, the Lord told me to go to Romans this morning for some reason. And as we were singing those songs, He explained to me in my mind that, you know, the Bible says they told them over in the Old Testament not to drink the blood of the sacrifice because life is in the blood. And our life is hid in Christ's blood that He shed on Calvary. There's one verse in the fifth chapter of Romans. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. We were the ungodly. And He died for each and every one of us. If you're covered by the blood, then He knows your name. I just want to thank the Lord for being here and for His blessings. Answering prayers. I've got good news that I hear Timmy just got out of the hospital or he was supposed to get out either Thursday or Friday. We've been praying for him. But the best news about him is I heard he got saved. That's the best news right there. That's what counts. The Lord's going to take us out of here one of these days, but if we're covered by that blood, then we ain't got nothing to worry about. Do we got any other prayer requests this morning? That's Member Robbie. That's Member Shirley. Just remember it. Just remember that family. Family's been through a lot. They need our prayers. Remember Carly, she's still sick. Thank God. Just remember that. Remember me and my family and uh, John Boyd wrote to a letter to the church. It's just been so crazy around the house. I miss Christ. Lord willing, you can just pray that the Lord help me find it. I get it here, uh, and he said that I do. I do remember. Uh, he said to tell the church he's not wrote a lot, but that didn't mean that he forgot them. And please don't forget him. And uh, uh, those uh, one person, and uh, mean don't need to be called, and uh, was something for him at Christmas that tickled him absolutely to death. It wasn't a thing in the world, but they sent him a subscription for the paper down. There. And he said that made him feel a little closer on. And you never know what little thing you do for somebody. It's, it's, amen. It is a special thing. And keep praying for the rest of the family. We'll pray for these the seed and the cross cut and everything. Pray for me that I, I, I do better life. I can do better. Mm-hmm. Remember those. Anyone else? I remember Jamie Hamm and his grandpa I talked to Heather when me and Sonny was going to eat supper yesterday and said he had a bad day and they didn't know exactly what's going on with him. But I told him we'd pray for him. Just remember that, family. And I'd like to thank God for answering prayers. And the blessings he gives us every day. And a young man, me and Sonny, bumped into him in Winston-Salem sitting right here in the house of God with us this morning. Amen. 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 Tell him for all them folks up West Virginia, like 300,000 with no water, can't drink it, can't bathe in it, can't wash with it, can't use the whole state capital pollution that messed up their water system. It'd be hard to live like that. They don't know what they're going to get to. Remember those. Remember Terry and Brown and John Cole and Revolver system. Just remember all the ones that are sick. Remember, Miss Sierra, I think she still needs to find out. She had her surgery on Thursday. She still got a battle to fight. Just remember her and her family. We'll be uh, talking about the benefit here after a while, letting people know about it. Anyone else? I could remember my cousin Eric. He's up in Arkansas working at Gates. First time in 14 years he'd been separated from his daughter. It's been pretty rough on him. Just remember him. Pray for Lisa. Remember that. Anyone else? I praise the Lord for the opportunity to be back in church today. I just pray when he said snow for me. I said, no, Lord, not again. i got to go to church. I have some special offices there in the church. Remember those? Yes. Anyone else? Remember me and our children. They 
Remember them. Remember that. Anyone else? Remember once lost and walking far off. Remember that. Anyone else? <clears throat> Brother, we got many on our heart this morning. We got a lot of things. People to call us all week. Pray for them. Remember them. God knows who they are. Remember us. God just touch our our ears. Whatever it takes to get them better. But God's uh, really moving in our life, and I thank God for that. But what I can see and feel and know is God is real. <laughs> but this morning, as a thought come to my mind, been on my mind ever since I left home this morning. Remember the men that's standing in the pulpits of America this morning. <clears throat> now, people's going to think I'm cold-hearted this morning, but these things that God revealed to me this morning, it just breaks my heart. Listen, Lord. Hold on. The Bible said that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. If it's not anointed with the power of God, it's not the gospel. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, If I speak with the voice of angels and have not love, Profit me nothing. Amen. Amen. It's just a sounding brace and a tinkling cymbal. How many people are standing in the pulpit this morning without the power of God in their life? Amen. 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 Dried up and dead. And people, the sad part about this, people sitting around the congregation and don't even know the difference. Amen. Huh? Amen. My God. Amen. The Bible said that they preach in the power and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. They make Sure, my God. And then we wonder why people's are living like y'all. My God, it goes further than the people. The Bible spoke about a sickness, that the head was sick. He wasn't talking about Jesus. He's talking about the people as a standing in the pulpit, Brother Josh. My God. Pray for God's anointing. You'll find out there's very few of them left anymore. Amen. My God, people just say, tell anything. Talk about anything. Huh? Sure, Hoop and holler. People sitting around and go right along with it like that's the gospel. My God, it ain't in hooping and hollering. You can't holler and shout without the power of God. You can't preach without the power of God. You can't even sing in the anointing without the power of God. The seasoning of God. Sure, my God, been this all week, amen. The Bible said what good is the salt, amen, if it's lost its savior. The Bible said ye are the salt of the earth. Amen. What good is it if the sauce lost its Savior? He said it's good for nothing but to be cast down and trodden under the foot of men. Amen. My God. Whoo! Power of God. It's the power of God. And the power of God is the truth of God. And the truth will set you free. And the Word of God is the truth. Amen. Praise God. They're preaching everything except the Word of God. Read it. Study it. Preachers being ordained. Amen. Huh? It's living ungodly. And the churches are bringing them right into the pulpits and letting them stand. Then you hear people, Amen. My God, you can get mad at me if you want to. It tires me up, Brother Ronnie. And then you know what they do? They put down the ones that's got the power of God in their life. It's amazing. I thought this morning coming down the road, and, and my mind just goes, you wouldn't believe my mind's went plumb crazy this week. Couldn't hear. Heard sounds all week. My ears about to bust. Amen. This is what God sees. I thought about this little church all week long. And I thought about the preachers that's a teaching their people and their congregation to run. When they see the devil to come and run. Get away from it. They say run. And I thought to myself this morning, coming down the road, 
If I teach you to run every time you see trouble coming, then I'm going to wake up one of these days by myself. Amen. You know why? Because my job is to teach you how to stand. And he said to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. And in the evil day that you might be able to do what? Woo! To stand. Amen. Praise God. And when he said all you can do, he said just stand. Come on, Ronnie. I'm going to hush. Praise God. Amen. Ain't no power in this stuff that they're preaching nowadays. My God tires me up. They can get mad at me if they want to. I'm trying to hush. Come on, Ron. Praise God. I want you to pray for these preachers in Ice County. I, I, I'm serious about this thing. I want you to pray that if they're on our radio station and they don't have the power of God in their life, that God would move them out of the way and put somebody, praise God, that can preach. Huh? Whine around. My God, what's the matter with us? I'm not a loser, sister. Praise God, I've got victory. Amen. Huh? Woke up this week. Amen. I'll tell this. Praise God. I've got victory. Woke up sometime. Amen. Friday morning. Praise God. Thought I was a dying. Actually thought I'd had a stroke, Sister Louise. Couldn't move my arms. Couldn't move my legs. My whole body was numb. My tongue was stuck to the back of my throat. Couldn't even talk. And I was so scared I even tried to wake my wife up and couldn't even get over far enough to get her woke up and couldn't even yell loud enough to even make her understand me. All that come out was mumbling. And I thought to myself, praise God, I've got a God that said He'd never leave me and never forsake me. And He said in the 91st book of the church, hey, the psalmist said that He'd give these angels charge over me. Let's not die stop foot against the stone. Brother, I was like, you're trusting God. In a few minutes, I got out. Then I go and never see it. Say, man, oh, there ain't God. He's got His hand on me. Praise God. Amen. Woo! <laughs> Amen. Amen. Scared me so bad. Amen. I couldn't even bend over Friday. My head was a busting, splitting. Thought it was coming in two. I went on and worked, sister, and tried to make a day. Tried my best to get in to the doctors. Amen. Couldn't get in. So I just prayed. I said, "All right, you know what I need. Yep. If I need to die, kill me. Amen. It'll bring the glory of God. Whatever it takes." Went to the doctor yesterday. <laughs> totally different doctor, amen. Never been to him before in my life. He walks in the room, praise God. I even heard sounds coming out of the sink yesterday in the, in the, in the doctor's office, amen. My wife thought it was funny. But praise God, I kept hearing things. I was looking down the drain. I thought somebody was talking up through the sink. You could hear it. You wouldn't believe what I've been through in the last week, Amen. A man walked in the room and he told me exactly where I was hurting, where the pressure was at. And I told him, I said, man, I've got pressure in my skull right here. And when it starts, I can't even stand up. He said, I'll show you why. He told me I had infection in the drain tubes in my ears and that's what was affecting everything else and it couldn't drain. I told him it never drained. He said it will. Huh? Huh? My mind's are going 500 miles an hour this morning, but praise God, I can hear. Huh? Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. Praise God, just leave me alone. I know what the power of God is, sister. And it ain't everywhere. And it ain't everybody that's standing in the pulpits. It's God today, man. You can get mad at me if you want to, praise God. But I heard a mess on the radio this morning, praise God. I hear it every Sunday morning in our county and everybody says, praise God, what good preaching it is. My God, what's so good about it? It's a killing people. Amen? People getting on the radio. Amen? And then at the last thing coming to church this morning, there's a man on the radio that's leading his wife right out of her place. Amen? Praise God, and it scares me to death. You can get mad if you want to. Let's see more. Pour it on. Drawing them to the wrong road. Amen? Praise God, tears me up, brother. The closer you get to God, brother Jeff, the more you can see this junk that's going on. Amen. My God, the power of God, don't you realize it? It ain't in, praise God. 
Ah, Lord God, I'm going to try to hush you. Come on, I, I've got to pray for these people. God said to pray for them. Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. Listen to it and see if I ain't telling you the truth. Open your eyes and listen. People are dying and going to hell because, praise God, they don't even have the power of God in their life, brother. Huh? Heard a man tell this week, praise God, Sister Louise, that he had studied about, amen, about, uh, Lord God, about Buddha and the Koran and all this stuff, amen. And you know what he said? Religion, Christianity was a religion, and they all three religions was the same. That they just called their God a different God. I said, praise God, he missed it right there, brother. You know how I know? Woo! My God, because Jesus Christ is not a religion. You know what the Word of God said? He said, Amen. That salvation is of the Lord. Amen. Salvation is not a religion. Amen. You may be religious this morning, but praise God, I'm saved. Amen. Praise be unto God. For to be a deacon. You know what the first qualification in being a deacon is? Most people don't even know what preachers don't know. Y'all say they ain't read it. To be spirit filled. When there's a calling the deaconship out over there, when Moses to come and wait on the table and take the burns off the man of God, the first thing God said, you go pick you out seven. Spirit filled men. Amen. Amen. Woo! Praise God. Not spiritual. Amen. I'm going to hush, brother. You come on. That's a whole lot on my mind. Spirit filled. Now the Bible said they'd preach in the power and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Huh? I can go to the last chapter of the book of Mark. I can blow your mind this morning, praise God, what God said, and they can get mad at me if they want to. I asked a preacher one time, Brother Josh, he's talking about what he believed. He didn't even believe in healing. Made it publicly, huh? That he didn't believe in it. Well, I asked him about where the signs was in his life. The Bible said in the last chapter of the book of Mark, he said, These signs shall follow them that believe. You can get mad at me if you want to, but there's a trail of evidence of following you through this world that tells people what you believe. Can I get an amen? amen. Praise God, there'll be evidence. If Dave Lyles is a living for God, can I get an amen? amen. There'll be evidence if Brother Josh Jones is a living for God, can I get an amen? You know what? There'll be a fire around this young man. That's right. Ooh. I got hooked. Come on, brother, we're going to pray. You don't even realize what's went on in this church in the last three weeks. Amen. Two weeks ago, Brother Jim Hart mentioned prayer for Brother Tim Each. He's, he's on the respirator, didn't know if he's going to make it dying in man's eyes. There's a group of people that believe God, that had the power of God in their life, fell around this altar, sister, and began to pray. Last Wednesday night, there's something happened, did it not? Well, can I get a witness? Amen. Hey man, something happened here, didn't it, sister? Hey man, they don't all have to believe. God showed me one time, He said, I'll do my work right in the middle of them and don't believe. He said, it don't take but one, but just believe me. He said, oh my God, I'm about to fly. Last Wednesday night, I began to call on God. Tell me it's Sunday morning, praise God, the boy's saved are going home. Tell me that ain't the power of God. Amen. Praise God. Coincidence, preacher. You believe what you want to. You can die and go to hell if you want to, but I'm going on for God. Amen. 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 It's your choice. Go on. But don't talk about me because I do believe. I'll pray for you. If you're here this morning, you're lost, I'll pray for you. But don't make fun of me. Because I know the truth. He abides in my heart. My God, I'm so filled up this morning. I just, come on, bro. I think we'll have church. Come on, we're going to pray. Praise God, I don't know if you believe it or not. Sister, praise God, I mean, I, Lord God. Can't you, can't you tell the difference? Can't you tell the difference? You get anointing with the Holy Ghost, praise God, you can tell the difference. Come on, Ronnie. Praise God, I'm going to try to hush, brother. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just get so tore up. I can't Any, uh, anybody else got a prayer request before we go to prayer? I asked you to pray for me and my family. You can pray for my Aunt Margaret and uh, Uncle Lynn. 
He's ready to go to meet you. He says he's going to win anyway. Yes, he is. Anyone else? I'd ask you to pray for me, my family, my church. Shoot. Yeah, baby. Almighty God, open the hand that brought me here today. You got the door to me to see glory. Hey. I'm here to see it. Amen. Shoot. He's here. He's here. He's here. Amen. Right Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anyone else? I said you continue to pray for me, Mother Mary. Study the book, because if you don't study the book, you don't know the difference. You know, I mean, I don't read it the way I should, but I can tell when the preacher gets up if he's telling the book or not. So that's what you need to study it for yourselves. Just don't believe everything you hear. Study it for yourselves. Anyone else? Very good. I'm working around too. None of those. Georgia, they're they eat lunch. I have to go eat by myself because I don't want to hear the talk. And, you know what not comes out of their mouth. They uh, they say I'm a little bit different from them. And there's a couple of them asking questions. Just pray that God puts what He wants in my mouth to say to them. Might make them turn their life with God. Amen. Anyone else? Well, Ronnie, I want to praise the Lord and I want to say this. I ain't spoke to David since last Sunday, just for a minute or two then, then I, I didn't hang around with that some kind of junk. The Lord had me the other morning, I guess three o'clock in the morning, <coughs> praying for somebody. I thought it was somebody else. And what I asked, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I know you're able to heal. I said, but if you, I said, if it be your will that somehow you get the honor and glory out of it to show the doctor what they need, then do it that way, Lord. I'm going to do it whatever way. And I had no idea he'd been to the doctor. I had no idea that the doctor told him what he told him. And I, and I say, I thought I was praying for somebody else. <coughs> and uh, I'm telling you right now, you. Uh, you he called me all the road too. I'll, st- I'll take the name of it. As long as I get to roll into heaven, that's fine. Mm-hmm. I believe it. Anyone else? I should pray for my mom. She's having a headache yesterday and her hands were going numb. My blood pressure was doing weird things. Remember her? Yeah. Anyone else? 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 Ronnie, I want the church to pray for Cadence. My mom called me on the way up here and she's real sick this morning and I'm probably going to get out of here pretty early and go check on her because um, my mom said that she's pretty sick. I felt like that she was getting sick this week because she'd been real cranky and just not acting like her. But um, my mom said she woke up this morning and she's very, very sick. So I'm going to go check on her here in a little bit. Remember her. Anyone else? Remember that. Remember him. Anyone else? one person, it's people that everybody you talk to has got problems. But just remember who, what the answer is, and that's God. Amen. Through Him, anything's possible. Amen. Anyone else this morning? I know it's just 
If not, everybody will gather around the altar. Brother Buck, would you care to leave us? Most kind, gracious Lord, I have you all the rest of the day before you this morning. God, I'm sure you thank you, Lord, for another chance for me. I'm going to go to the morning, Lord. Lord, I thank you to this prayer. I have to go to the world with the sorrows of this world. Lord, in this great business, this is the spirit of Mr. Man here in this church this morning, God. God, we thank you for all that you have so far. Lord, we thank you for all that you have so far. Lord, we thank you for all that you have so far. Lord, we thank you for all that you have so far. Your blessed holy name, these things we ask, Lord. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and turn it over to the Sunday school teacher. something to help you, but I, I, I got just, I don't know, six or five or six places to read, but uh, this, this is something we all face, and the reason I think it'd be uh, something we can all use, and something we all need to hear this morning, because uh, 
And all I want of us is to don't face temptation as we walk through this life and, 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 and seem like maybe reading this and, and, and thinking back to talking to people. I believe a lot of people's got a different <coughs> people they got a good understanding of temptation and, and uh, I got to thinking about <coughs> that, that song that Josh and Stephanie sung up a while uh, the other Wednesday or Sunday about uh, the waves of being under His feet and, 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 not, and Jesus and knowing what we go through. And surely it goes right along with Scripture. And I want to read in James chapter 1, verse 13. It says, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn, when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren, for every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither the shadow of turning. Amen. Of His own will begat He us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of firstfruits of His creatures. And, and this is all be familiar Scripture. It should be. And, and, and I, I was thinking about uh, but temptation and, and and first scripture come to my mind was this scripture right here and, and uh, verse 14 says but every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed and, and uh, like I said I sort of got to thinking back and uh, uh, different conversations with people and most of the time it seemed like if you get to talking about lust with people it's always they assume it's always something sexual, but it, it's not. Uh, uh, Come on, bro. I, I looked up oh, lust, no. and, and, and according to the dictionary, and, and this will go down with the Bible too, not that I want to use the dictionary to teach this morning, but lust is a, it, it just simply means a strong desire for something. Come on. No matter what it is, there's a strong desire. And, and, and I've heard this scripture a bunch and read it a bunch and never... Uh, and, and, and have heard the word enticed, but uh, enticed means when, you, when you're shown something. Come on. When, when something, when you can physically see something and, and something grabs your attention. And, and I thought it was, uh, it was good in this scripture uh, that, that every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. It takes that desire and that seeing something before you're ever tempted. <laughs> And most, and it, and it really starts with the lust, with the desire part. And and I sort of thought, you know, of an example this morning, and and there's so many, and and, and uh, let me go on and read some more scripture first. Uh, uh, turn to to First Corinthians chapter ten. And, and it, it, it's it's certain that we're all going to face temptation. Come on, brother. Uh, no matter who you are, how far, how close you are to God, or how long you've been saved, or what your role is in the, in the church, every single one of us, I can guarantee you, we'll face temptation for the simple fact because we're flesh and we all have desires. And Come on. We see things that catch our eye. And, I, and, and, and I'll yeah. just use this as an example. If, if, if God said that uh, 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 owning a new car was a sin. There ain't one of us in here that wouldn't desire a new car. And, and, and you can, and, and we can all sort of imagine that. That, that uh, I don't want to pick one sin out in particular because because we're all you know different different lusts and desires. Uh, you might say that owning a new car would be a sin, and and, and uh, this this is sort of how it works. That. Uh, that, that you get a desire for that new car and then uh, you may never see it for a little while but you still got that desire in your heart and you keep thinking about that new car well then all of a sudden uh, the, the, the devil might come along and, or, or, and, and say well I've got, a, I've got a dealership down the road here come down here and look at this new car and then of course your desire and, and that lust in your heart will keep on working and you'll eventually end up on that car lot to look at that new car and then uh, uh, you might just sit there and look at it for a minute and, and, and leave and, and then a couple of days later you want to go back and eventually you'll get the keys and drive that new car and really start to like it and, and then eventually you'll sign the 
sign the uh, sign the paper and it's yours. And then that's uh, 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 that's where the sin comes in. That's where uh, the, the sin brings us forth to death. It's, uh, you can let it go too far, but uh, like I said, I, I was thinking about that song and thinking about how Jesus. Uh, uh, well, let me read the. I got I got so much. I got some scripture. I I, I just want to read First uh, Corinthians ten. Uh, let me just read verse one. It says, "Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and." And we're, and we're all baptized unto Moses in the sea, or in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat that same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Yeah. But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things, as they also lusted, Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happened unto them for examples, for examples, and they were are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. There is no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And I, I, this is another familiar scripture, and I've read it uh, for myself several times and I, I, I and uh, we all know salvation and, and being a Christian is a growing process and I'd read this because I'd, I'd fail God a whole lot and, uh, and I'd go back and read this scripture and I'd want to know I, what, what, what was the way to escape I mean according to this scripture he'll not put he'll not you're going to fall in the temptation. That's like I said, according to this scripture, that's true. Uh, there's no temptation taking you, but such as common to man. It, we all want to face it. It's that's just part of it. But uh, I, I like the part that God is faithful. He won't suffer you to be tempted above that you're able. And and, and I'd go back and read this, and I think, well, uh, I keep a failing. What's the problem? You know, and I couldn't understand, and I'd want to. I, I just get I get so mad at myself, and I I know I was being tempted, and I I, I could tell I was sinning whenever I was, whenever I'd fall, and uh, I got to thinking, you know, just what is it? And and, and the more I read, uh, I I could understand, and I want to just keep a reading uh, right here because I believe this will help somebody just like it helped me. Uh, uh, turn to Hebrews chapter two, and, and I'm going to keep a reading and. and, and Hopefully somebody will understand this right here. Hebrews chapter 2. Verse 5. <clears throat> Says, For unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownedest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see... Not yet all things put under him. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. For it became him for whom all, are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. 
For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. And again I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham, Wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself had hath suffered, being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. And, and uh, I had to read this two or three times this week, but the, uh, my understanding and, and just to know what this, this scripture is saying, uh, that, that, that he took not on the nature of angels, but took on the seed of Abraham, and, uh, that, that he was made, uh, uh, that he had to suffer certain things to be, uh, to, uh, to, to be a little more like us, I guess I could say, uh, you might say for lack of better words, but... Uh, Jesus himself was tempted, and it says right there, for in, for in that he himself had suffered, being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Uh, jump over to chapter 4, and verse 14 right there. It says, uh, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession, for we have not an high priest. Come on which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to, to help in the time of need. Now, that sort of lets me know that uh, no matter what I'm facing, and it don't have to be temptation, it could be... Uh, any kind of suffering, sickness, or or whatever, but uh, since we're since we're mainly talking about temptation, and and, and uh, this this scripture right here is pretty plain and simple that Jesus knows exactly what you are going through. Amen. Amen. And I and and I sort of got to thinking about that this week, and uh, got to reading on this scripture here, and I had great comfort in thinking about that. that but Jesus knows what you're going through, and it makes no difference what kind of temptation it is. Uh, and, and I'm going to go on and read over in Luke chapter four here in a minute. But uh, uh, and, and Hebrews two and eighteen, I just read for that he himself had suffered being tempted. He is able to succor them that and succor them that are tempted. And I had no clue. I read this a couple of times and I thought, well, what does that mean? What does succor mean? So I had to look it up too because uh, sometimes it don't hurt to get you a dictionary and give Amen. you a little better understanding. But succor uh, means uh, to, to run to the rescue, to bring aid and help. And you think about that and Jesus knows what you are going through and, and He's able to run to your rescue and help you in a time of need and, and, and when you're being tempted. and, and uh, Go ahead and flip over to Luke chapter 4. See, this is the thing, brother. I'll say this before you read Luke. In Luke. This is what people underst don't understand. <coughs> Just like pe preachers are trying to preach without the Holy Spirit, there's people in America today and in the church houses of Ice County that's trying to live for God without the Spirit of God. Amen. 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 Now in Revelation, this is what he said. Jesus told him over in Revelation. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man open unto me, he said, I'll come into him and sup with him and him with me. He wasn't talking about this door. He was talking about the heart. The opening to men and women's souls. Amen. And he said, If I stand at the door and knock, and if any man open unto me, he said, I'll come into him and sup with him and him with me. Peter denied Christ three times in Pilate's hall. 
But after he met Jesus in the upper room, whew, and Jesus breathed on him and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Praise God, I remember in the Word of God where Peter died for the cause of Christ. He never denied him again. And Peter stood boldly on the day of Pentecost. Praise God and preached boldly. Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And 3,000 souls were added into the church. Praise God, there's a difference in head religion and heart felt salvation. When Jesus Christ moves into you, praise God, you're not your own. You're led by the Spirit of God. Now, I, my God, the Bible said, He that's within you is greater than he that's in the world. Can I get a amen? amen? If Jesus lives inside of you, this brother's done mention, he went through everything that you're facing. Praise God that he made a way of escape from you. He said he would secure you. He'd come to your rescue. So if you've got Jesus living in your heart before you ever do something wrong, he's already told you not to do it. Can I get a amen? Praise God to Paul. Apostle Paul. They ain't no wonder he preached about a constant warfare against good and evil. He said the flesh is contrary to the spirit and the spirit contrary to the flesh. Amen. Praise God. You know what the Bible is? This ungodly bunch thinks they got the flesh saved, sister. Bless him, Lord. That's the reason this flesh has to go back to the dust and he can't go to glory, brother. Right, right. Amen. Amen. My God, read. I can get so deep in this you won't be able to keep up. Praise God, the Bible said in the, in the 17th chapter of the book of Luke, amen, he begins to speak about two in the field, one would be taken and the other one left. He said there'd be two grinding at the meal. One would be taken and the other one left. He said there'd be two men in one bed. One would be taken and the other one left. Now listen. Praise God the disciples asked Him where Lord and He said where the carcass was the fowls of the air be gathered. Yeah. You know that day He's talking about Brother Billy yeah. Joe when the soul comes out of His body when the trumpet slams yeah. and I lay this body down yeah. and I go home to be with Jesus. That's the days of talking about Brother Eric. Hey man, it won't be no use to go back to the house to get your goods. It won't be time, hey amen. For whenever the trumpet sounds, I'm going to kick this thing off and I'm going home to be with hey, Jesus. Say you crazy preacher. Look in the Bible and the button, the Word of God, 1 Corinthians 15 chapter. He begins to speak about a natural body and a spiritual body. That's the reason he said it'd be soul in weakness, but it'd be raised in the power, hey amen. Praise God, amen. People think they got this thing cornered and they're doing it on their own. You can't do nothing without Jesus. That's the reason these people think the preacher saved them still living like hey. Bless him, Lord. Huh? It's the truth. You don't have to get mad at me. I'm telling you the truth. Tell me more. I'm telling you the truth, ain't sister. My God, I come down an altar, hey man, several years ago. I've been in this thing almost 20 years. Didn't even realize it. Didn't even remember been preaching ordained since 94, hey man, brother Jeff. Scared people to death the changes made in old David lives. Alcoholic, a man that they seen drunk every day. My wife would tell the testimony of the things that I've done. Praise God, they'd scare so many people to death. She tells about having to lay me on a quilt and dragging me to the porch, Jeff, and let me lay on the porch because it's so big she couldn't get me in the house until I sobered up enough to get on in the house. See, you don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. But I'm here to tell you all night, praise God, Sister Carlin, one Friday night up the road up here in the little horse creek, I met a man called Jesus. And I opened my heart, praise God, and he moved in. And he's still on the inside of me today, amen. Praise God, it ain't me, it's Jesus. They no wonder the Word of God said in myself, I can do nothing. But through Christ Jesus who strengthens me, all things can be done, amen. Praise be unto God. People say what they want to, but they ain't never met Jesus. He even told them in the Word of God, He said, You draw my and I me with your lips, and your heart's far from me. Yep. Amen. 
In another place in the Word of God, now I don't know if I'm going to hush or not. In another place, praise God, in the Word of God, Brother Josh, he said, Amen. Amen. When the, praise God, when the good man of the house rises up and closes the door, he said, They'll cry, Lord, Lord, open to us. Have we not eaten, drank, and not present, and done many marvelous works in thy name? And Jesus is going to say, Depart me, you workers from iniquity, because I never knew you. He didn't say, I once knew you, you backslid. He said, I never knew you. That tells me they sat right in the house of God went through all the emotions and the things. Amen. And God didn't know them. You know why? Because He never abode in their heart. He said, I'll come into them and sup with them and them with me. And He said, He'd make up His abode. Where in your heart? You don't ever have to know how to read. You don't even know how to understand. But praise be unto God, this is the key. If Christ Jesus and the Spirit of God abides in your heart and my lives right in here, praise God, you'll know not to do wrong before it ever happens. I'll give you something else you chew off. If you go on and listen to the wrong spirit and do it, there will not be no pleasure in it. Amen. Amen. Oh, now, come on! There will not be no pleasure in singing for a child of God because He said we're not among them that draw back. He said them that draw back my spirit has no pleasure in them. Brother Josh, amen. I, Lord, I'm gonna, we'll just go ahead and have amen. Sunday school all day if you want to. <laughs> Praise God. Let me tell you something over there in the Word of God. Awake. And the Bible said that God told His people not to take of the accursed thing. He hadn't never lost a battle till one man in the congregation of Israel. Praise God. Went and done what God said not to. Can I get it? Amen. And you know it was foolish. Yep. Because that man took two Babylonish garments and silver and gold, took it home and hid it. Couldn't even wear it. Couldn't wear it and couldn't spend it. But it cost 30 and 6 men to lose their life in that battle. Sin. They murmured and couldn't figure out why they lost the battle. God said it's sin in the camp. Amen. If you're a child of God, you can't live in sin. Amen. I don't care what this modern day religious bunch, praise God, are teaching you. You can't live there and get the glory. You won't have no pleasure in it. Can I get an amen? Right? I told him one time, Brother Kirk, praise God, made a whole bunch of Baptists. Man, I can't help it. You get mad at me if you want to. I know what I got. I told him in their Bible meeting, Brother Eric, I said, I still drink as much liquor as I want to drink. And boy, some of them, praise God, went and told I still drink as liquor. That ain't what I said. I said, praise God, I still drink as much of it as I want to. But you know, after that Friday night, praise right. God, my taste buds changed. Hey man, I have no desire to drink from the Jim B bottle because I've done drunk from heaven. And it's far better than anything I ever tasted right. in this world. If you ever taste from glory, this is what I want things to say. Amen. Amen. Huh. You see, that's the thing. You do just exactly what you want to do. If you're full of hell, it'll come out. You can hide it for a little while. But I promise you, it'll come out. Amen. But if you've got Jesus in there, you may be having a battle. But I promise you, praise God, you can walk it. Amen. 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 I've heard more people say this morning, praise God, they fell, but they didn't have no pleasure in it. It broke their heart. You know why? Because there's somebody living in here. Yeah. This is I'm gonna tell you right where you're at this morning, praise God. He'll tell you, praise God, you can like me, you don't have to. If you can see it, and there's no condemnation. And you know what's right and what's wrong. Huh? There's standards in this thing. You know what God's Word says right and what's wrong. When it says it's wrong, it's wrong. I don't care how much you pray. Woo. Okay. Bless him, Lord. Huh? If you're praying and getting a message from somebody that's telling you that wrong is right, then you're getting your message from the devil. You're getting that if you want to because God will not, amen, compromise on His blessed Word. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 I won't leave you hanging. Sometimes they tell me I get excited and leave them hanging. I'm going to let Jerry go on and teach this. This brother tires me. Yeah. That's what he said, Brother Joe. He said, without 
Now this is what he said. He said, as many as I love, I chasten and rebuke, be yes. zealous and repent. Quickly. Get out of it. That's what repent means. Get out of it. Don't cause more harm to yourself. Don't cause more harm to people around you. Get out of it. Get back with Jesus. Gotta get an amen. amen. Anybody amen. know what I'm talking about? Somebody say amen. 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 You gotta listen. And he said without chastisement, they're bastards and not sons. Amen. Come on. You know what that means? The Word of God, when it speaks about a bastard, it's not cussing you. It's telling you you have no father. You don't have the name of the father. Amen. Oh my God. You don't carry his name. Amen. You don't have a father that's registered. Amen. Praise God. You don't belong to him. Hmm. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get it. That's gonna get some deep. I tell you, I love you, bro. Without chastisement, you see, it's plain. I've even had preachers in Ice County corner me, and they say you can't say that to people. I said, praise God, why can't? I? Said you cannot say that to people because you'll cause them to doubt their salvation. I said, praise God, them it's saved, it's secure, and they know it. Can I get them? Amen. Come on, yeah. Woo, my God. The Bible said to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That can I get an amen? amen? He said to make your peace calling and election sure. If you don't know it this morning, it's a good chance you ain't got it. Can I get an amen? Hey, praise God. God don't just move into your heart and you don't know it. He didn't come, praise God, and sneak in. That's right. That's right. You had to let Him in. Amen. <coughs> this is what I tell people, brother. They say, but... I seen so and so come to an altar. I was at their baptizing. Huh? That's what they tell me, Josh. Well, if they wasn't saved when they went into the water, you just went in a, a dry center and come out of wet and praise amen. God. Because that water didn't help you none. Right. Can I get an amen? amen. Huh? Amen. Woo! This is what I tell people. This will change this will this will put you right where you're at. Without chastisement. <coughs> Without it, you don't belong to God. Amen. Amen. But I go to church every Sunday. There's a lady told me one time met me in the church house going out of the church. Amen. Now I'm just, I'm a nut. I ain't come in this thing through religion. Huh? Didn't come in, praise God, being better than anybody else. I come in an old alcoholic lost without God and Jesus Christ. Say my soul. Come into my life and set up on a boat with Eric Sins. Amen. amen. Goes home with me every Sunday evening. Amen. Praise God, I'm still a preacher when I get home. Amen. Amen. It don't just last for an hour and a half on Sunday, brother. Amen. amen. I've been saved Woo! for a little over 20 years, brother. My God, hallelujah. Say! Amen. People need to figure out where they're at. Amen. I, I'm going to try to hush, Jerry. I won't apologize. Praise God. I'm, I love you. Right there's the problem. Everybody wants to live like hell. Praise God and say they're saved. Yep. You can't live like hell and be saved. Amen. Huh? Try. It don't work hand in hand, Brother Rex. It don't work that way. He done, done read it to you. Does God live in your heart? Does He live by I'm going to ask you, does he live by it? When you do wrong, is there somebody there saying, don't do it? Amen. And when you do it, does God bar you out? Amen. What do you get out of it? If you ain't out of it, you ain't right with God. Amen. I love you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to tell short of God you got something out of that. Huh? Amen. This salvation is not a joke. My salvation is not a joke. What I believe is not a joke. Amen. I believe in a God that, praise God, if He can raise the dead, He can make a new creature out of you. Amen. That's the reason Apostle Paul preached, amen, and taught that if any man who been in Christ Jesus, He is a new creature. Behold, all things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Praise God that Friday night, Brother Eric, I didn't even understand. It scared me to death. Amen. Hmm. 
I got up, not even liking the smell of it. Huh? I'm talking about the things that I love. It made me sick to even smell it. And everybody used to drink with me, Keith. It scared them to death. They couldn't figure out what in the world happened to Dave Lyles. And then there's some things I had to work on. Huh? Had to work on my mouth. Huh? <coughs> had a habit of cussing like you wouldn't believe. Now I'm talking about bad, amen. Big words. Every breath. And when I got saved, amen, I was doing pretty good things. <coughs> To one of the neighbors made me fighting mad and I let something fly. And yes, I was saved. But you know what God done? Yeah. He reached down out of the floor and he began to squeeze my heart. And I had to fall down on my face and repent. Repent means to turn away from it. Amen. Huh? He'll change your tongue. See, there's some things that you've got to grow through and get rid of. Amen? To go to the next level. Can I get an amen? There's levels in this spiritual thing. That's right. I may have confused everybody. Does anybody understand what I said this morning? Anybody? My God. Sometimes I get carried away and what I'm seeing, you might not understand it, but I love you this morning. I wouldn't leave you out. Praise God. Is He, is he inside? Not up here. I'm not talking about in your head. I'm not asking you, do you believe with your mind? Do you know that Jesus is real? Everybody knows Jesus is real. But praise God, He is my Savior. He's in here. If there wasn't nobody else left in this world, praise God, He'd be alive in me, brother. If He all stood against me, you know why? Stand, brother Kurt, sometimes by myself, and because I don't have no place else to go. Amen. Besides, son of Jesus Christ, I have no life. Amen. Amen. My God. Amen. Shoo! Teach it, brother. Go ahead. Praise God. I got all day. Teach it. I want to read this in Shoo! Luke chapter 4. Uh, Luke 4 and verse 1. It says, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it may be, that it may be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil take him, taking him up into a high mountain, shoot him, shoot unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and, and the glory of them, for that it is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will give thee it, if thou wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, Come on. If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For, for it is written, He shall give His angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. And Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all temptation, he departed from the, from him for a season. Uh, now I read that because of everything I've read so far, I mean, sort of talking about Jesus. and He knows what we go through because he's been tempted just like we have. And that right there, uh, what you go back and read is what I just read as far as Jesus being tempted. And, and, and I read this and sort of got to thinking and, and, and I got to thinking of the way of escape that God gave us and, and it's everything David just said. And, 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 and lust, I done told you, if you look it up, means a strong desire. And, and when you get saved, your desires change. You go to lust and after the things of God. And, and, and I sort of... I, this may get confusing, but I, I, I reading this right here, and I thought, well, what did, what did Jesus use? Or how did He get out of the temptation? And if you notice, every single time... He quoted the Word of God. Yeah, come on. And I sort of got to thinking, well, 
you know, it's just like David said, I, if I get uh, drawn away in my own lust and enticed and I'm tempted, uh, if I fail, then God, God usually lets me know it pretty quick. But but there's one thing about it: if you don't know the Word of God and if you ain't saved, uh, well, there's something special. Let me turn to John chapter one. I just want to—I don't know if I can explain this like it's in my head or not. But John, there's something special about the Word of God, and it means more than just necessarily this book I'm holding. It it, it it goes a little deeper than that. John chapter one. Verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through Him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Yeah. That w- that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, and the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of Him, and cried, saying that, that saying this was He of whom I spake, that He cometh after me, is preferred before me, for He was before me. And, and of His fullness have we all received and grace for grace for the law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ uh, now uh, thinking about Jesus using the word of God when the devil was tempting him and knowing that, uh, that Jesus was the word and, and he was made flesh and dwelt among us and uh, not only do we have this book that's supposed to help us know how to live it's just like David Dunn said we've got Jesus in your heart and and, and uh, we, we've got the Word inside of us, a dwelling inside of us, and we've got it physically right here to read and to know. And, and, and I, I, I don't know, I don't know what all I said when I first started, but I, 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 I just want to say that I, I know everybody's going to be tempted. There's no doubt about that. But, but it, it makes a difference when your desires change, when that lust changes for the things of God. And, and sure enough. Uh, if you're weak like me from time to time, you're going to fail. Amen. But sure enough, just like David Dunn preached about that, uh, we've got chastisement. And, and the only thing I can tell you that's going to help you if you if you suffer from a lot of temptation from the devil and you fall a whole lot is just to change your love, change your desire. Amen. You know, start reading this book. That helped me more than anything. When I started Amen, reading this book ahead. and really right studying... Where it's at. Go on. That's when my desire started to change. I, I mean, I come to this church for a long time, just sort of going through the motions and, and learning and listening to David preach and getting closer to God. But when I started really reading this Bible and studying, thinking about the things of God and dwelling on the things of God, just like, uh, just like I say, I was reading this, I've read all these scriptures about uh, temptation and wanted to know. And, uh, I just get a desire for this thing. And I'd read it and... and, and uh, may not understand it all, but I could use it. And just uh, uh, things will come to your mind when you start facing temptation. The devil will fight. And I guarantee. You Amen, bro. The things will come to your mind from this book. If it does for me, I know it can for you. Go ahead. And, and, uh, I, I, that's the only thing I know. Really, take to help is it, just use this word. I mean, the Bible says it's sharper than any two-edged sword. And this is what we're supposed to use to fight with. And, and, and like I say, I know everybody faces temptation, but uh, just change your desires, change your love a little bit. And that way you won't, it won't breed sin. But, uh, this is what the Word of God said. The Word of God said to study, to show thyself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Amen. That's the Word of God. The brother was talking about, and he, he just about spoke everything as it coming through my mind as I was thinking about it. it tires me up. 
Amen. You got to read the book to know what it says. Jesus didn't say you had to understand every word, every jot, and every tittle. He just said to know what he said. Amen. All he he didn't preach and explain to the devil. Amen. All he quoted to him is what it said. Can I get an amen? Whoa, my God! Do you know what he says? He said to study to show thyself. Approve a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. This is now I'm gonna tell you something, and this is gonna help me, and then I'm gonna host we'll have church. What I'm saying this morning is not this. I'm not saying if you're a child of God that you can't fail and you can't fall into temptations and you can't mess up and you can't sin. What I'm saying is, praise God, if you have no desire for the things of God or the word of God or even pleasing God, then you ain't got it. Can I get an amen? amen. Because your love will change. Amen. I live for Him not because I'm afraid of Him, because I love Him, brother. Amen. Amen. Now this is what He told the woman at the well. You've heard it preached a many a time, but they don't explain it. I've even heard Baptist preachers say that there's no excitement in this thing. He even had one sister to tell us in a, in a, in a revival meeting, I told my wife, we're in the wrong place. He said, praise God, you can worship God in your seat and in silence, in decency, and in order. I said, my God, we're in the wrong place. Can I get an amen? For this ain't even the Bible, amen. It's exciting, amen, to be a child of God. And if you're a child of God and know the Word of God, it's exciting when you hear somebody begin to expound on the blessed book. The Bible said over yonder at the well, there's a Samaritan woman come down to the well and gather water. And Jesus said, if you know who I was, you'd ask of me and I'd give you a drink of living water. Woo! Praise God! The Bible said, Amen. He gave her a drink of well of water and he put in her a well of water springing up into everlasting life. You know what that well was? You know what the water was? It's the Word of God. For the Bible said, Amen, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. It's the Word of God. He was so excited to her, she forgot about her water pot. They didn't get no water in this world. The Bible said she threw it down, run back to the city, said, Come and see this man. That's told me everything I've ever done. Amen. And the Bible said some believed by her word, and some had to go see for herself. But praise God the word of Jesus that she took to this world. Praise God made a difference. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. People get mad at me all the time. I can't help it. Amen? Amen. Just what have you got? If the Word of God lives in you, you know better than to do wrong. Amen. Amen. And when you do wrong, quit trying to hide it. Get right with God. Can I get an amen? It's simple. Repent. You know what repent means? Turn away from it. The Bible said we all sin and come short of the glory of God daily. But you know what He said? To present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. You see, God left something in your charge. Yep. Huh? You're in control of this. Huh? And if you're letting people push you to do wrong, you ain't got much of a backbone. Amen. Bless him, Lord. I'm just, I'm my God, this is going to get good today. I don't know. Huh? If you're letting people dictate to you what you do and how you live, you don't have much of a backbone. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but they didn't hold me down and cause me to drink liquor when I was a drunk. That's right. I didn't have to have a crowd. Huh? And I'm telling you right now, you can ask them boys that run around with me, Jeff Ashley, they didn't push me much. Amen? Matter of fact, I was telling Brother Dwight Brooks this week, I said, you know, God took the drink. He took the drugs. He took that. But He left me something to take care of. This. Huh? He said to strive for perfection. If I can get people to understand, strive means to try. That's right. Put forth the effort to do good. Amen! And to live by the Word of God. And when you fall, get up! Amen! Get back to the book and let's walk on! you got to have a zeal to live! Amen. Huh? you got to have a little grit about you. Amen. 
My main problem is this is my problem. Everybody's got one. Everybody. Brother Chris, you've got one. I've got one. Sister Louise, you've got a problem. I've got problems. We have to deal with it. Brother Josh, amen. He's got problems. I've got problems. We've all got something that God left us to be in control of. Mine's my temper. I grew up in the day, praise God, people make me mad, I just break their nose. Never say nothing else about it. Huh? You think I'm kidding. You can ask my wife. When I was a lost man, you didn't even look at me funny. Huh? I'm telling you the truth. Mitchell Paul, you know I'm telling the truth. Some of you people that knew me when I was a lost man know I'm telling you the truth. And now, you know what God said? My people are not brawlers. Huh? Amen. And I still have sometimes, praise God, have to think about things. I'm telling the truth, brother Nathan. You see, I may be the only preacher to tell you the truth to tell you that they have feelings like this. Sometimes, Sister Pauline, I have to go somewhere. Get away from them. You know why? Because, praise God, I still got a temper. But Kurt, he left me a temper. You know why? Because he knew that I wouldn't be pushed around and I'd stand in the Word of God. Huh? But there's a fine line. You've got to realize, hey man, you can't do nobody no harm. As much as you'd like to. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Come on. You can I get an amen? amen. Praise God. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Amen, brother. I do. Amen. You go to coming against what I believe and what I preach, amen. And praise God, go against my God. The first instinct I've got is shake your foundation. Amen. Amen, sister. I'm telling you the truth. God knows I'm, I'm honest with you this morning. You know what I have to do? I have to walk off and get down and still pray. My God, Brother Earth, when God begins to move, Lord God. Huh? It's better than whooping somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. My God, I'm telling you the truth. You know what the Bible said? Pray for them. That despitefully you, you love them. And He said, I love them. You know, he pop coals on their head. Can I get an amen? You ever love them so good? Praise God that they're higher smoke. Woo. <laughs> mm. You ever hug them when you want to punch them? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It's hard for the. You know what that is? That's contrary to the flesh. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you know what? My God, I got to get in this. I'm going to show you something. The Bible spoke about fasting. He said some of them demons couldn't be put out of nobody, amen, except through prayer and fasting. Can I get an amen? amen. Woo! There, you're going to get this. It's done come. My God, look at it. You know what that fasting was for? He was to bring the body, woo, the flesh, under subjection to the will of God. Woo, my God. That's the reason they couldn't do it, brothers of flesh. They had to bring the flesh under subjection through prayer and fasting. That's where the power of God come. I think to cast out demons. Can I get an amen? Praise God when people expect you to bust their mouth and you hug their neck. Amen. Praise God scares them to death. Amen. You'll see. Amen, Brother Jim. I get tore up sometimes. Huh? I do. And if you're saying you don't, you're lying right in the house of God. Bless the Lord. Brother said we're all tempted to the same thing. Every one of us every once in a while wants to fight. Huh? Can I get an amen? We be honest. Come on. Will you be honest? Huh? If you ain't got no temper, praise God. If you ain't got a will to stand on your own two feet, everybody's pushing you around. Amen. Bless the Huh? You're double minded. The Bible said and you're unstable in all your ways. Huh? My God, I found out a long time ago, brother, me and Jesus can stand. I don't care who it is. Huh? I'll be there. I made my mind up a long time ago, Jeff, I could fight for the devil like I used to fight for him. Amen. Huh? I'll remember to stand firm. That's right. The Word of God. Amen. Huh? My God, I'm in warfare right now. I can't lose the Word of God. 
Huh? Not God bothered, we'd be afraid. Huh? Jesus got my back. Amen. Huh? You know why the devil couldn't touch him over there, brothers and brothers of Reed? Because he spoke the word of God. Yeah. He never said a word. Never brought no relevant accusation. Never, amen, put no fit, never done a thing. All he said was, it is written. Oh my God. Used to work with some old boys, and they made it pretty tough on me. Until they started getting saved. <laughs> One of them had started an argument. I just pulled a book on him. I went on for several months. And one morning he said, why do you do that? I said, do what? He said, every time I think I've got the best of you, he said, you pull the book. <laughs> well, he, I said, what happens when I pull the book? Well, he said, I have to shut up. I said, amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> There's no controversy in this. Yes, Woo, come on now. Praise God, you can argue with Dave Lyles. But praise God, you'll never stand against the Word of God. Can I get an amen? amen. Woo, praise God. That would leave me alone. Sure. I just pulled the book. Hey, back amen. up, amen. You see where I went with this? If the Word of God abides in your heart, then you know right from wrong. Amen. And when you do wrong, you're not satisfied. Huh? Can I get an amen? amen? Say, yeah, but preacher, what if I've got a battle? Praise God, and I just keep a falling. Well, praise God, get up till you get it right. Huh? <laughs> get up till you get it right. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Huh? I told this story, I'm going to tell it one more time here, and you'll understand this. Everybody seems to understand something if you tell them something of this world. Amen. <coughs> like I said, I wasn't as good a fellow as people thought I am. Amen. Every weekend we'd go to West Jefferson, I went to fight. I don't know about everybody else. Amen. If I could pick it, I'd pick me one. Amen. Like I said, I never won a whole lot of them. But it was just the enjoyment of a fight. You may not understand that. But one night, brother, there's an old big boy from White Top, Virginia, and his buddies jumped on me. I was the littlest one out of the bunch. And I made a Spectacle out of my seat. <laughs> and the boy run. Well, that made me just want to whoop him that much worse. Yeah, oh, yeah. Amen. 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 So you won't tell that stuff. You'll get my meaning here in a minute. When I finally did get him cornered, sister, that boy slid me right out in the highway, flat on my back. He blacked my eye and chip my tooth that your little boy talks about. I still carry it. Amen. My eye was black from my cheek to the top of my head way back up in my hairline somewhere. When they got me up, my good time buddies pitched me right back in on him. Both eyes swell shut. And, <laughs> <same thing. laughs> when the law put me in the car, I still swing. I was blind couldn't see. I still had a zeal to fight. Why ain't you got that in the house of God? Right. When the devil knocks you down, you feel like giving up. Why don't you just close your eyes and keep quoting the word of God? Amen. Get up and let's go, praise God. Huh? Say a t-shirt one time that said salvation ain't for whims. I wish I'd have bought that thing. Child of God, I ain't telling you to run. I'm telling you to stand up, praise God for what's right. And stand firm. I'll stand with you. Amen. When the devil knocks you down, I'll help you get up. And I'll help you go to battle. Amen. And I'll help you get back where you need to be. Come on. Because I love you. Show to God you got something out of this Sunday school. Praise God, this brother's been teaching. Amen. But it's the Word of God that lives on the inside of you that will make a difference. Amen. Huh? And that's the reason he said, when you have to stand to give no thought of what you'll say. He said, for what hour you stand, he said, open your mouth, and he said, I'll fill it. He said, I'll, I'll stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. Can I get an amen? I can't quote it at all out here working. Couldn't tell you where it's at, brother. Amen, don't know a thing. Till God begins to move. 
And then praise God, he'll go to running sometimes, Brother Kurt, like water, praise God. I can't understand. I love you this morning. It ain't me, it's Jesus. It ain't me, it's the Word of God. Oh my God. You know what the Bible said about them that's been saved? We're begotten by the Word. Can I get an amen? I'm going to hush, Jerry. Hey, I love you. I don't know where we're at in this thing, praise God. I think we'll just have church. Right. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't even know what time it is, praise God. Can't you see it? It's not about us. It's about the book. It's about Jesus. I want to say this and then I'm going to hush. What's wrong here? They're coming. This is what happened in the upper room. The disciples, amen. Lord, this is going to get deep. I'm going to try to stay on top of it so you can understand what I'm saying. The disciples was not saved until Jesus breathed the Holy Ghost on them. The disciples walked under the law and by faith. But they had never received the Holy Ghost till that day in the upper room and they began to change. Can I get it? Praise to my God! That's the reason Peter could stand boldly and preach Jesus Christ. Because Jesus abode in him. Amen. Amen. When he said, I breathed on the niggers and said, Receive you the Holy Ghost, sister. Praise God, they had been saved Amen. by the grace of God. Huh? I Friday night I cried out for help, sister, and praise God, Jesus breathed on me. I ain't been the same since, and them and nobody can testify to that. I may be a nut to everybody else, but praise God, Jesus loves me. Amen. And I can tell you, praise God, what the book says. Amen. I may have to stop and look it up and check where my markers are at. You see, that's the reason I can't quote it word for word and can't tell you chapter and verse. I burnt my brain cells out on the drugs and the white liquor of this world, amen? I'm being honest with you young people. Don't do that stuff. It'll kill your mind and you'll need it one of these days. Amen. I love you. I'm going to hush, praise God. Let's just have church, praise God, amen? Lord have mercy. I feel better. I'm not better about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I want to thank the ones that's been helping with the wood. Keith Rourke and uh, Eric back there has been helping me get people some wood that needed. I want to say I appreciate all the help you're giving. I just want to th thank all the ones that's doing something for somebody out there, you know. The Lord put it on my heart to try to help somebody, you know, and uh, these people have been trying to help me help somebody, so I appreciate everybody's been helping with whatever we can do to help someone. I, one thing about prior request I forgot to mention this morning is Wanda down here. I heard she had to go back to the hospital. She lives right down the road down here, Wanda Wilcox. So I'd like you to remember her in your prayers. Has anybody else got anything else? We'll turn it over to Brother Rick.
pasture so green, in pasture so green, he maketh me lie, he maketh me lie, inside the still water, the cool and still water, he restoreth my soul, my poor hungry soul, oh glory to God. Signs come to pass, nearing the end at last. It will come very fast, trumpets will sound. Yeah, glory to God. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom, trumpets will sound. In the sky, going where no one lies, heavenward bound. Sing it, praise God. Troubles will soon be o'er, happy forevermore. When we meet on that shore, free from all care, rising up in the sky. Yes, glory to God. Yeah. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Praise God, the Bible said, us who may shall be called up. Praise God, he said, the wings of the Oh, amen. Hey man, so in this one, we're going out again. Glory to God. Praise God. Yeah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Praise God. Thank you. Father, Lord, we just want to thank you for another great opportunity, God. We're back to your house again today, Father. We already received. Lord, we come trust you this morning, here, God. Father. Seeing and knowing that you're out of touch each one. Father, we know, Father, God, you've got the key to this week. We're sitting right here in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going to let you know. We're going to be sitting in this service, God. I'm going
Mind the Spirit of God. Washed in the blood of 
that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood in the soul cleansing blood?
So we'll be proud of these young ladies, amen. amen. They try to do something every Sunday for the Lord, amen. That gives us all something to think about, don't it? Y'all pray. Uh, <clears throat> somebody asked me to sing this song a couple of weeks ago, and I hadn't had a chance to. So uh, I don't want to let nobody down. Didn't mean to on purpose, but uh, y'all pray. <clears throat> I stood in the courtroom. The judge turned my way. It looks like you're guilty. Now what do you say? I spoke up, Your Honor. I have no defense. But that's when mercy walked in. Mercy walked in and pleaded my case. Forgiven when mercy walked in. I stood there and wondered how this could be that someone so guilty could still be set free. My chains were broken. I've been born again, forgiven when mercy walked in, mercy walked in and pleaded my case, called to the stand, God saving grace, the blood was Forgiven when mercy walked in. Josh, you sing, I know that man. <laughs> Bless you, Lord. Might as well bring you by my lead, bro. Praise God, mind the Spirit of God. Bless the Lord. Mind the Spirit, young. Praise God. If you need to pray, come on and pray. Whatever God says for you, do do it. We've held back long enough. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, Jesus. Two. I know that man who walked among thousands and called by the shore. Yeah, go on, brother. I know that man that John baptized yeah. and Peter called the Lord. I know that man who fed hungry, and I know that man who 
Come, so be 
Peter win. And when the faith he had was spent, Peter sang close, but Jesus had waited. Hey, no done let it sing. Come on, brother. Under his Thank you. 
God thank you. Jesus. We'll sing one more. Let's sing. Pick up this book if you don't care and turn the three feet. <coughs>
Come on, bud, y'all. Come on, the spirit of God. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Bless you, Lord Jesus. I thank the Lord for being good to me and all His many blessings. I may not be too long this morning. I'm just going to mind the Lord. You know what? You you pray real hard. Pray real hard for me for just a few minutes. I, I appreciate this church and everybody in it and love you. Appreciate Brother David. Uh, he, I can talk to him and he'll tell me the truth and he uh, don't act above me. I appreciate that of him. I I, I thank I thank God for for always being there, brother, when when I didn't deserve it and I thank him. I don't want to never fail to tell him that, Brother David. I as, as I'd say all of you have, I, I've had a pretty tough week. I, and I'm not going to sit up here and whine and complain like a big sport brat baby, but I, and I, I'd say, I'd say there's been a lot of you, but I, I've had, you pray for me. I'm going to try to do what God would have us to do. If you have your Bible in Matthew chapter 3, it's been talked about this morning, you know, the power of God and the Spirit of God. I, I always, I always liked John the Baptist, didn't Come on. you? Yeah, yeah. Bless him, I liked old John. Uh, old John, he, uh, the Bible says that, that he came, that he was in the wilderness. He, he's a pretty rough feller, you know? Bless he's him. pretty tough. You pray real hard. Bless I may just read just a little bit if that's all God would have me to do. So, someone... Someone take do do what God would have them to do this morning. The Bible says in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken by the prophet Isaiah saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his, make his path straight. And the same John had his ring. I want you to listen to this guy right here now. And, and, the, and the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins. And his meat was locusts and wild honey. Now this man, he, 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 what he had to eat wasn't a T-bone steak or a ribeye all the time, brother. Uh, he had wild locusts and honey. That's, that, was his, that was his food. And I, I want to be more like John. I, I'll just be honest with you. I, 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 I got, I was whole, the brother was talking about wants and lust in this world. And, I, and, I, and I'm not perfect. And I don't know about you. And I fall right in under that category. I like old cars and stuff. And sometimes I've been guilty of putting them in front of my Lord and Savior. But I'll tell you what, if we'll get, if we'll get kind of like John was, John didn't have a whole lot. He came out of the wilderness of preaching. Uh, he didn't have a three-piece suit on. Come on. Uh, he had. He, come on, come on. He, the Bible said he was he was clothed in camel hair yeah. and leather. Uh, had a leather girdle about him. I tell you what, John. John came uh, for one purpose. Come on, John came for one purpose, and that was to make the path straight of our Lord and Savior. Bless and you know what he done? He went ahead and done just what the Lord told him to do. I, 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 he, he didn't worry about what this world, what this world, all, all the lust and the things of this world. All right, but I'm going to read just a little bit here. It says, and he went out to. He went out to him, Jerusalem, and all Judea, and, and all the region about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sin. And I, I, but, when, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? I tell you what, you may look like a big... You may look, I'll tell you what, and I'm not putting people down. 
Amen. And, and, and people and find churches and every or big churches and and you know they've got they they've got everything in the whole wide world they could ever want. And and brother, they come in and they soothe their conscience over. Uh, they're, they're full of religion, amen. On, amen. They think they're better than everybody else. Sister Bertha better than you and, and you know everybody and, and you know there's a lot of men that's that way but tell me, I'm, I'm telling you uh, they, they think they're better than everything else but one day if they die in that place I mean, you know the, uh, the Pharisees and Sadducees they was religious but they wasn't saved Amen. they was religious they kept, they kept the traditions and they kept the customs and everything else they looked apart but amen, if you die like they did, amen, done, undone without God, you'll die and burn in a hell forever and ever and ever. And John called him, called him and told him, I called him by name, told him it was sin, and he called it by name. I tell you, a lot of times we beat around the bush, but you know what I mean? We tell them, we, we, we try to tell people in a nice way, amen, I, I wish you wouldn't be doing that. And this, that, and the other. We need to be bold about it. Don't yeah, we? we need to be bold and tell them if you don't straighten up, you're going to go to hell. Yeah, That's right. just the facts Perfect. of it. I, there's a whole lot of people that don't... You don't hear about the blood. You don't hear people or preachers talk about seeing the more like they ought to. You don't tell them where they're going to go. Amen. You don't hear them tell them where they're going to go. Amen. Uh, uh, if you don't know Jesus this morning as your Savior, if you don't get another thing, out of what I say this morning, I tell you what: if you die without Him, you'll burn in hell forever and ever. The Bible says, "Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched." Come on, you and your buddies that have a good time, Amen. You'll be biting and gnashing on each other. You'll have plenty of time to do that. You know how how long you have to do it, and how long you have to remember the old preacher. Standing behind the pulpit telling you if you don't straighten up where you'll go, you'll have forever and ever and ever. Preaching. Amen. You'll, you'll never get out of there. I don't care what somebody tells you how many chances you got because once you a breath leaves out of you for the last time, the Bible says how a tree falls, so shall it be. Or how a lie. Amen. If you die... Amen. If you die in your sins like that and never have known the precious blood of Jesus, if it's never been applied to your heart and soul, Amen. If you don't know that you know that you know, one of these days, just like the rich man, He'll lift your eyes in a literal burning hell forever and ever. Amen. But I want to be more like John. Yeah, come on, bro. That's the Lord. I want to be more like John. I, I, I appreciate I like old John the Baptist. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's a he's a whole lot of people. I, 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 I you know, as a young preacher, I, I or well, I ain't young no more. Great day. I used to be young. I used to say it when I'd preach. <laughs> but anyhow, lesson. Anyhow, you know, you listen to different people. But can you imagine? Come can on. you imagine listening to John? Come on. Now that you know, you know, and I'm not judging. I'm not judging people. But can you imagine? Hey, you, you could, and I don't care if you like like what I got to say or not. Bless God, I, I'll just be honest with you. I'm going, I'm going to settle in and be comfortable with my God. I tell you what, you, if I pulled up to a parking lot, and I'm not judging, you might not have to like what I got to say, and that's fine. I don't care. And there was someone got out of a big sixty thousand dollar car, and, and looks like they never had mud on their hands in their life. And if I had the choice to listen to them and they'd been to every school across this county or across this world, yeah, brother, and, and they, they look fine and dignified look, look, and, and, and everything else. Or if I was to pull up in this parking lot and I seen a man coming out over the hill, yeah. one coming out of the yeah. wilderness, and yeah. old boy had rags on. Amen. He was he was saying, repent for the kingdom of the Lord's at hand. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'll tell you which one I want. I want the one that eats yeah. wild, or eats wild honey, and got a locust in his mouth. Yeah. Amen. I want the one. I want the one that's got the power of God in his heart, don't you? And in his life. I don't care what this world looks like. You can paint yourself up and look real nice and neat. Amen. But God knows what you are. Amen. God knows what you are. He knows what I am. And I'll tell you what I am without Jesus. I'm nothing. Amen. I ain't nothing. I, I've always been a backward kind of person. I, I, 
I told Stephanie I wish I could talk better. I wish I could conversate with people better. I hope they don't think I'm stuck up. Amen, but I, I, I just I, I am the way I am, brother. I can't help it. I talk, I talk Southern. My name's Josh Jones. I live at 2327 Johnson Hall Road over in Johnson County. One of these days, thanks be to God, I'm going to take flight and I'm leaving out of here. When he calls my name, I'm leaving out of here. You say, what are you with Jesus Christ? I'm one of the king's sons. Amen. 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 I'm royalty. Yeah. And you're the same way. Amen. Amen. If you've got the blood being applied. But over in verse 11, he says, I'm, he, sa he says, I indeed baptize you with water under repentance. But he that cometh after me, this is the one I'm talking about right here. He that cometh after me is mightier than I. <laughs> Whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. Man alive, he, John, this is John the Baptist. He said, I can't even touch. I ain't worthy to touch Jesus' shoes. I ain't even nowhere in the ballpark with Him. Uh, and and he, he knew what He was. Amen. Just like I tell you what, what my grandma, she used to say, son, you're getting too big for your britches. I tell you what, we don't need to get too big for our britches. We need to remember, I... I, I tell you what, I'm glad you got confidence. Amen. I'm glad we got confidence in the Lord. Sometimes I struggle there. I'll just be honest with you. I, I, sometimes I, I, my confidence, I, I have a hard time with that, with self-confidence. I tell you what, I, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. He said, he said, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear, and He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Amen. Yeah. I'm, I, I like this right here. I, I, I like this. It says, Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat. And the garner, it says, But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you may have me fooled, David fooled, your wife, your husband, everybody else fooled, but when God's fan comes right. by one day and blows you away, Hey man, I'm I'm here to tell you, uh, he'll reveal your mess. He'll reveal your sin. Sin, sin. Hey man, we need to call it just like it is. That's what I'm gonna read over here just a little bit more. I'm ta I'm talking I'm talking about John the Baptist here. Hey man, I want but I, if I had the title of message. And I'll be done pretty soon. But if I if, if I was going to title something, you know what I'd say? I I, I believe I believe I'd, I I'd title it. I want to be like John. Amen. Don't you? I want to be like John. Bless him. I, but you know, I, I want to. You know, John, David. He Come on. when 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 Mary. Bless him, Lord. Bless him. You pray for me. When Mary him, when Mary found out she was going to have. Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, she went. Yeah. The Bible says that she went up to the hill country. Come on, <laughs> she went up to the hill country. And this, I want. I'm talking how about John is. Come on, uh, you know. I, it, she went up the hill country. Went and, uh, and Elizabeth was carrying John, and you know the story about how he leaped. Uh, John, John knew the John knew the Lord from an early age. Amen. Yeah. I tell you what, all these babies that's getting aborted and everything. I, they are no different, you know, than John was. was I, you know, you know what I'm Tell talking him. about. I, I hope, I hope someone I, in the, under the sound uh, or in this building hears this. I tell her, someone maybe on a CD or something. Uh, I, I hope don't. I tell you what, we we need to quit killing babies, don't we? That's right. That's, That's a sin. I'm going to preach it as plain as I can. Hey, it's a sin to kill babies. Hey, man, I, you say they're not born yet. I don't care. When, when, G, when John when John heard that Jesus was in Mary's womb, you know what he done? Uh, he leaped in her in her, in her womb, leaped for joy. Hey man, we need to quit killing babies. I want to be like John. You say uh, a lot of times we come into church, brother, but and you know what the you know what the preacher you have to get up and sing your guts out. Hey man, to get an amen or a holy grunt out of somebody. I tell you what, I get sick and tired of that. Oh, John, you know what John done, David, when he heard even that Jesus was in the house and he's here this morning. Hey man, 
man, but I couldn't get I couldn't get uh, half of you to jump this morning if I had to, amen. I tell you what, it's the truth. He's here this morning. Somebody ought to say amen. Somebody ought to lift my hand, amen. Somebody ought to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to me. Amen. Thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit. Amen. I like that. I'm sick and tired of going to dead meetings. I'll just be honest with you. I'll throw this in for three. I've had it. I don't have to waste my life. I don't have to waste my time and my life on that mess. You know what, bud? I mean, you say, well, you're being mean. I don't care what you think. That's just the truth. I mean, John didn't tell that bunch. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He, he told the Pharisees, uh, he went up to them and pat them on the back and said, Said if if you don't, uh, you know he 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 wasn't lightly about calling them vipers. That's Amen. Right. Right. He knew exactly what they was. I say if you're in a dead church, I say find some life. Amen. Amen. I've had decisions. I had advice, to bro. I had to make decisions in my life that hurt real bad. But I'm not dying. Amen. I'm not dying with nobody. Amen. On, I don't. If my Thank wife you, dies and dries up. Amen. I'm not, she's not bringing me down with her. Amen. Or vice versa. I hope to God she don't never. I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm on the winning side. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I tell you what. If your if your husband or wife's at home today, Amen. And and, and they're lost without God. Don't give up. Try. Don't Try. never give up. Come on. Amen. Don't. I tell you, there's a whole lot of people that's giving up. You say, does it ever cross your mind? Probably every week. Yeah. I'll just tell you the truth. Probably every week. Come on, brother Joe. You say you're scattered as I'll get out this morning. I don't care. I'm telling it just what God had had me to say, yeah, brother right, David. Right. God, bro. don't you say. Don't you say. I, I tell you what. Uh, nobody's perfect. No, no, that's right. I don't care how fancy you think you are, or the, yeah. and anybody that stood behind the pulpit, they've had faults. That's right. People that's taught Sunday schools had faults, that's right. and don't hold grudges against people. Uh, hey man, it's easy too. But I'm telling you, people that's taught your Sunday school class, they've had faults. People that's led the choir, they've had faults. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect, and it's not about me. No, brother. And it ain't about you. But it's all about Jesus. We need to work. We need to work together. But oh, I, I, I want to read this. Oh, John, he, you know, he got put in prison. Yes, sir, brother. John the Baptist got put in prison because he told Herod it's is unlawful to have his brother's wife. He got he got he got put in prison for telling the truth. And I probably lost about half of his look up here. Amen. Anyhow. <clears throat> John got put in prison, but anyhow, come on. We're talking about. I'm gonna read something. I'm gonna read something over here that Jesus. Come on, bro. Jesus said about John. Yeah. It says. Well, well, let me read this over here. It says it, in verse in chapter eleven. This is John. You know, he was in prison. Chapter eleven of Matthew. It says in Acts. And it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding His twelve disciples, He departed thence to teach and preach in their cities. Verse 2 said, Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Now I want you to think about what kind of person John is. And this just might be my way of thinking, but I, I'm going to preach this. It says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things yeah. which ye do hear and see. Yeah. I want you to watch this right here. It says, The blind receive their sight. Yeah. Amen. That's, I couldn't imagine being blind, and I thank God I can see. Don't you, David? Yeah. I'm glad for that wonderful thing. Amen. It says, The blind receive their sight. It says, The lame walk. I'm glad I got up out of the bed this morning and I could still walk, ain't you? Yeah. Amen. amen, there's a lot of people. Somebody ought to say amen, there's somebody. Amen, amen. amen. couldn't get up out of the bed this morning. Yeah. It says it says the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed. Amen, can you imagine being covered up yeah. head to toe with that Come mess? Yeah. Brother David, get cleansed. It says the deaf hear. 
I, I, I'm glad. I'm glad that he made the death to hear. Yeah. It says in the dead. Come on. Uh, can you imagine what a great thing this could be? And the dead, uh, the dead are raised up. Yeah. I want, uh, and the dead are raised up. These are all. These are great things. It says. I, uh, and I want you to know. I want you to know this morning God's here, and here, whatever your need is, He's here for you. Amen. Whatever, whatever you need. There's a song. We used to sing over there in the youth choir. Whatever you need, that's what I want to be. Jesus is standing up here this morning and all yeah. that load you've carried on, for bro. time and time again. Yeah. On, church, yeah. church yeah. service yeah. after yeah. church yeah. service. Yeah. You don't have to carry it back that's out right. of this yeah. place. Yeah. Come on. You yeah. don't have to carry it on your, on your back like you have and the Pretty devil's man. been riding you. Yeah. Every on. chance he can get and you're doing his everything you can Listen. do to put one foot Listen. in front of the other. I say come down here come and give it and put it at the feet of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 Brother Taylor. Amen. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up. These are all great things. Amen. And miracles. I want. I, but I like this right here. And now he's, he, he, this is a message back to John. John. John didn't have a whole lot. Amen. Because he he didn't care about the things of this world. I say, it says the dead the dead are raised up. I want you to listen. And the poor. Have the gospel yeah. preached to us. Amen. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad the poor have the gospel preached to them. Whatever you need this morning. That's what He wants to do for you. He, he loves you. He says, he, he's, he says, take my yoke upon you and he, He'll give you rest. Amen. But, but the poor have the gospel preached yeah. to them. I, I tell you what, David, I never was starved for food all my life, but Dad, he, had, he was in the shoe factory business. And I, I didn't always live in Tennessee. I've been to Missouri and Pennsylvania and I, and that, because Dad was hunting work. And sometimes things was tight and I've lived in a whole lot of different houses. But I'm, I'm, I, I, and I tell you what, we was renting a place and we, was, we rented a lot of places. And I don't care. I don't care how much money you got this morning, or how much money you don't have this morning. Jesus will love you just as much one way or the other. But I thank God that the poor had the gospel preached to them. David, I'm glad I didn't have to wear rings of gold. I didn't have to have the finest uh, clothes. And when I went to school, when I went to work, I didn't have to be the most popular person there. I mean, John, come out of the wilderness preaching. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Yeah. I'm telling you this morning, yeah. before you leave out of here, you might not make it. You better repent before, yeah. before Amen. God calls your number. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's good preaching. Yeah. That's right. That'll stand, Amen. I tell you what, I'm glad the poor had the gospel preached to I'm glad. I'm glad, brother, I didn't have to be a big name celebrity. I didn't have to be the owner of a bank. I didn't have to hold in my hand the title of a new truck. Hey, Amen. I tell you what, I've had, I've had some junk over my lifetime. And I thank God that He loved me just as good as anybody else. Amen. I'm telling us how some of you's looking at me. Hey, Amen. That you, that you wish I'd just hush and get down. But I tell you what, if you don't know, if you don't know Jesus, I ain't trying to be funny. Come on. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, one of these days, time ain't going to be no more, David. One of these days, it's going to be over. One of these days, all this time that you've played God and played church, and you've made it look good, and you've been slick at it. Come on. Hey, man, you put a smile on yeah. and the preacher yeah. shook your hand. Come on. Hey, you opened you open the book. Hey, man, and sung the songs just like everybody else. Hey, uh, you, you, I man, you come out come on. on work day or Preach. something. Hey, man, you helped clean the gutters of the church. Hey, man, you might have helped pave the driveway. You might have yeah. painted the walls. You might change. You might change this and that in the, in the house of God. Hey man, you may you may polish the piano. You may be the best there is at it in the whole place. But if you don't have Jesus, right. if you don't have Jesus, you ain't got nothing. Right. Hey man, this ain't some social club. Hey Amen. Right. This ain't some this some some place a bunch of buddies get together. I'm glad we can have friends. Hey Amen. But this is a place where we ought to come. 
and tell the truth. Amen. 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 Tell them that Jesus loves them. Tell them they can still go free. I like that song, don't you? Yeah. That I can still go free. It says in that song, unworthy to live. And, and, or, un, unworthy to live and not fit to kill. Right, but a man on the cross put me in His will Amen. and said that I can still go free. Yeah. You can still go free this morning. Yeah. They might be some old junk holding you back. I say be a man or woman and get it and cast that mess off this morning. Yeah. Cast Amen. it off. Preach it, bro. Hey man, I tell you what, everybody's got to have someone to talk to. But I say we ought to come this morning and talk to Jesus. Right. What about you this morning? That's what God's put on my heart. Whatever you need. You see, you see, everybody knew. Everybody knew, Brother David, that the blind was receiving their sight and the lepers was getting cleansed. And the deaf was receiving they could hear again. And the lame could walk, and and, and and great days raising them from the dead. But it pertained to John. The poor had the gospel preached to them. There's something that pertains to you this morning. Just to you. It may not mean a whole lot to me. Come on. But it means a lot to you. I, I wonder in this building this morning, somebody surely has a need. Hey man, I tell you what, I wouldn't let the devil keep me in my seat for nothing. I wouldn't leave out of here. Boy, ain't there, there's nothing like having peace. Amen. Amen. There's nothing like Amen. having the peace of Jesus in your life. in your heart. Let, let's all stand. Sister, still, come on. Praise God, sing that song. I can still go for it. Amen. I'm gonna tell you something this morning. <laughs> God spoke to my heart last night and He told me to call Brother Josh and ask him to come preach this morning. That's what God told me. This ain't a coincidence. This ain't a game. This may be the last opportunity that you have to give your life to Jesus. This may be the last opportunity that you get what you need. Amen? Amen. This may be the last opportunity you get set free. You listen. This brother's preached his heart out. And he said you don't have to carry back what you carried here this morning. It's right here where you get a hold of it this morning. Repentance means to turn away from it. Are you willing to give your life to Jesus? Are you willing to lay down the life of sin, amen, and come to the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you want to go to heaven, amen? This is the only way in is through and by Jesus Christ. He said, I am the door. Woo! He said anybody comes in any other way are but thieves and robbers. The Bible said my sheep know my voice and a stranger that will not follow. Can't you hear him this morning? He's a calling somebody's name. How about him? Don't you care? Don't you care? Listen, amen. And This is the last meeting that I ever face in this world. I know everything's all right. Amen. Amen. Brother Kenneth Clark made a statement one time. His wife told him, said, you act like you're the only one to go. I'll never forget what he said. He said, I'm the only one I'm sure about. Amen. 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 See, I don't know you. Don't know nothing about you. But if you're not saved by the grace of God, you can be. 
Amen. If you're here this morning, you're not living where you should be. You can be. Woo! Praise God. Huh? You can be. You don't have to stay where you're at. Come on. While they sing this morning, the Lord's a message. He's a moving, amen. Out his hand. Somebody else, come on. Need to pray. But then man He put me in his will. My God, can't you feel it? Hallelujah. Praise God. I've got a birth record, brother. Hey! When I get to him, he's going to open the book. He's going to say, remember, praise God, I called and you answered. Amen. Yeah, I can remember when he called my name. I can remember what it felt like when the burdens of sin was lifted off my back. And praise God, I could have blew. Praise God, He lights the load. Does anybody remember that? My God, the moment that God touched your heart and nothing else matters. My God. Paul still has a gospel preached. God's still calling men that will tell you the truth.
you want to carry it. It'll get so heavy you can't. Somebody knows what I'm telling you. Somebody knows what this brother was preaching. Amen. He's talking about wanting to be like John. I like to be one of those that brought forth fruit. You see, John knew the difference by the fruit they bore. Huh? My God. Amen, bro. By the Word of God, he knew where they stood. <laughs> this brother will never know how much it means to me. Said you get in touch with John. I couldn't hear yesterday morning, so he'd be here this morning. You was here this morning because God had you a message. Now if you die without God, you'll not say nobody told me. If you face a battle this week and you lose it, amen. It ain't because God didn't give you the victory. Huh? It ain't because the table wasn't spread. It's because you wouldn't eat. It's because you wouldn't move. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Amen. I've never heard such teaching and such preaching, such singing. Everything that's been said, done, preached, talked about goes right back to the same thing. Even these young ladies sung about it. I ain't much of a beggar. If you don't want it, I can't make you take it. If you don't want to get close to God, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Joshua said, Choose you this day in whom you'll serve. But he said, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. I made my choice. I'm going to stand with you. Amen. Praise God. Sister. I'm going to hug. Come on, pray for these two. Come on, pray if you need to. Don't be ashamed. He said to come boldly to the throne of grace. It's time. Today's the day of salvation. It's time to give it to God. speaking to somebody's heart. Some of you sisters know the power of prayer. Amen. Praise God. Preacher, you've lost your mind. You know what I'm doing? I'm calling out the army. Woo. I'm calling in the race. Because I know there's somebody in this church knows how to pray. Hey, I know there's somebody in this congregation can touch a throne room. Hey, I know there's somebody that's in the Bible. Woo. Praise God. How you know, preacher? God answers prayers to them and believe. My God, in the name of Jesus. See, there's people here that'll help you if you want it. Amen. Say, preaching you crazy.
there's such a spirit here this morning, I can't hardly explain. Amen. The devil's a fighting too, ain't he, God? He's right here to keep you from moving. The Bible said he's... Zechariah, the Bible said that the Lord showed him Joshua, the high priest, and the devil, that old dragon, standing to resist him. And the angel of the Lord rebuked Satan. He said, is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? Woo! And the angel of the Lord spoke and he said, take away his filthy garment. And he gave him a change of reins. My God, you know what he is talking and preaching about? Repentance, brother. When they laid down that life of sin and took up the cross of Jesus. Woo! Bore the cross. I'm going to hush, praise God. We're going to have church. They don't nobody else want to pray. We're going to fellowship. You see, I ain't one of them preachers that will come in the back and drag me. I don't believe in that stuff. Amen. You got to remember our kids. One thing too, though, Lord didn't have to wake you up this morning. No. You know, I, I read that in the Bible. It says, "For that means you can do nothing." And I, that was my, I, I was wondering, I was like, "What does that mean?" And the whole thing is, if you're dead, you can't do nothing. The Lord wakes you up every morning, gives you chance after chance. You hear that? Like Try. In case you didn't hear it, Brother Nathan said the Lord didn't have to wake you up this morning. Amen. Without Him, you cannot do anything. He didn't have to give you bread. He didn't, give you, he didn't have to give you eyes to see or ears to hear. But He did. Amen. Go ahead, sister, and let's have church. We've got the Thank you. 